Hello there, Internet. As most of you probably have no freaking clue about, I just moved to beautiful British Columbia. My dad lives down here, so I'm going to go live with him. And in the meantime, I'm looking for a part-time job. But my eventual high plan is to continue making YouTube videos for all of you viewers. So that's what I'm currently doing. Uh, as you can probably see behind me, I am like in the middle of the mountains and it's freaking gorgeous. There are mountains everywhere. The, uh, I'll just drop my camera. The air is like the clearest air ever, which moving here from a big city, it's kind of a big change and I am thoroughly a fan of that. I mean, look at that view. Just look at it. Freaking gorgeous. A little bit later now, but like, look at that. It's freaking gorgeous. I wonder if I can get the... I don't think it's going to color. It can try to focus though, sure. Try to focus. Good job, camera. But yeah, so there have been a few changes in my life recently. I have no idea what my hair is doing. But anyway, there have recently been a few changes in my life. I graduated from film school. I now have finally become a post-secondary graduate, so that's always cool. I worked on a project. It's called Cowtown. It's on YouTube. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo, but I worked on their season two, which is not out yet. Um, if it is, there'll be a little flashy annotation thingy here that says, look, it's here. Here's a link. But uh, yes, um, I'm in a few of the episodes and I did art department and I gaffed on some of them. So, you know, that that's cool. I did film stuff. And while I'm here in BC, I'm starting up a new project with my dad. Uh, we worked on a radio uh, station together last year, but unfortunately the tower for that station was taken down by either vandals or a hungry bear thinking the red light flashing at the top was food. Um, we're still not sure, but it was a community radio station and they didn't have enough money to replace the tower, so bye bye radio station. But anyways, he started working on a project on YouTube called Songology, link in the doobly-doo, um, where he makes videos with his best friend Bruce, where they talk about music history, stories about bands, how they came up with songs, stuff that happened in albums, uh, all sorts of interesting things. You should go check it out. Anyway, I am working on a secondary show on the same channel as Songology called Postmodern Music, because since he was working with that radio station, he's listed as the director of music and stuff, something like that. I don't remember the exact title, but it's something that sounds important. And we get mailed CDs from new and upcoming artists. So I'm working on a new show with him where we showcase these new artists and, uh, you know, show them to the world, tell the world how to find them, how to buy more of their music. Uh, just, you know, give them some stuff and things and words. And I'm switching hands now because that arm's tired. I'm a freaking nerd and have no arm strength, which I need to work on. What is it like here in BC? I have already said beautiful, gorgeous, uh, good food. Like, super good food. We live in this amazing valley in the mountains that gets, like, perfect weather all the time. Well, as perfect as you get in Canada. Um, and there's just lots of really great farming here. And a lot of orchards and... What's it called where you grow grapes? Vineyards. There are vineyards here. You can grow grapes. Another great thing. We have pets here. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi, Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. Yes, you're a cute little puppy dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, hi, Charlie. Anyways, yes, pets. There's also a cat named Dust. I can hunt and find him. I will find him for you. What's this thing? That's you! Meow! <laughs> Anyways, that's Gus. He is the theater cat. Uh, if you have a book in front of you, he will come and sit on the book. Because he's a cat, and cats 
enjoy being super helpful. Another nice thing about living here is, uh, well, at my grandparents' place where I was last living, using the internet was kind of like pulling your own teeth, sticking needles in your eyes, and washing the cat all at the same time. It was so slow. Here we have fiber optics, which are, they are a joy. They are a joy to use. I am so glad that I have been graced by the gods of fiber optics. A video that would take hours to upload in Calgary here takes like 10 minutes. 10 freaking minutes. It is the best thing ever. There's also like tons of crickets here, which is hilarious because it may, it, it feels like everyone in the area is constantly just telling terrible jokes. Myself included, but I know that for a fact. Um, and the world just needed to provide a soundtrack for it, which is just freaking gorgeous. I love it. But anyways, um, now that I'm out of college, I can actually freaking work on YouTube now as, like, my main focus besides getting a part-time job. But that my main focus is YouTube. And you're welcome for stuff that is coming down the pipeline now. I have, like, five scripts written that I have been waiting to film. And now I'm gonna do it. So I'm going to end my rambly vlog here and work on more stuff for you. Bye-bye! Yes, an existential crisis.